OK, in this question, we're asked to find to two decimal places the solutions of the following equation. So 3 cot squared x subtract 4 cosec x plus cosec squared x is equal to 0. And we want our x to be bigger than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi, so our answer in radians. Now, when I'm looking at this, the first thing I'm thinking is I can't solve this until everything was in terms of cosec or cot. Because we've got cots here and cosecs, I'm thinking let's convert this into a uh, cosec in some form or another. Now, in my head, I have always learned the following identities. The following need to be committed to memory as far as I'm concerned. Here they are. <clears throat> now, they're the formulae I need to know from core two and core three. And I just, although um, each of these can be derived, so each of the ones here can actually be derived, okay, from the formula booklet and using the core two identities, I just want them straight away in my head. Now, what links uh, a cot squared and a cosec? Well, cot squared add one is, is equal to cosec squared. So that's the one I want here. So I'm going to take that away. And I know that I'm going to use the identity uh, cot squared x add 1 is equal to cosec squared x. I'm going to use that identity. So I'm going to make cot squared the subject. So I know that cot squared x is going to be the same thing as cosec uh, cosec squared x take away 1. And now I'm going to substitute it in here. So going back to my equation, I'm going to have 3 cosec squared x subtract 1, subtract 4 cosec x plus uh, cosec squared x is equal to 0. Expanding this out, I get 3 cosec squared x subtract 3, subtract 4 cosec x add cosec squared x. Combining the cosec squared x, I would have 4 cosec squared x, subtract 4 cosec x, subtract 3 is 0. Now, I hopefully can factorise the following, and I can indeed factorise it. I can factorise it with a 2 there. So a 2 cosec here, and a 2 cosec here and a negative um, 3 here, and a positive 1 here. So it, it, take your time uh, factorising this, if you, and if you're not sure how to factorise it, go to the quadratic formula, okay? And at this point, therefore, we've got two answers. We've got that cosec is either, from this one, is either negative a half, or from this one, uh, cosec x is either 3 over 2. Now, cosec is 1 over sine, so if 1 over sine is negative half, then sine x must be equal to negative 2. And in this case, sine x must equal 2 thirds. Now, I ignore this one because sine can never be less than negative 1. It's always between 1 and negative 1. So there are no solutions from here. And this one is where I get my solutions. So x is equal to the inverse sine of 2 thirds. Calculator out. Make sure it's in uh, radians mode for this, so uh, change your mode to radians. So uh, number four for radians, make sure it's got radians there. And what we're going to do is go inverse sine of two thirds, two thirds, and we get the answer 0 0.7297. So to three significant figures, I would write this as 0 0.730. Okay, so, oh, actually, how did it ask for it? It asked for it to two decimal places. So it would be um, 0 0.73. So x is equal to 0 0.73. Now, that's one of the solutions. We're looking for all the solutions in between 0 and 2 pi. Now, remember the sine graph that we're dealing with here. The sine graph looks like this. So if there is an answer here at 0 0.73, from 0, 0 0.73 away, there will be an answer 0 0.73 back from pi. So the other answer is going to be pi subtract 0 0.73. So our two x's are 0 0.73 and pi take away this. So pi take away the answer, which is 2.41. So all x is 2.41. Underline your answers and you're done. Now, of course, you should take those answers and stick them into this equation here uh, with cot as 
uh, one over tan, cosec is one over sine, etc. and check they're equal to zero. And indeed, you will find that. So we're done.